Buongiorno it's from Guten, Italy. Guten Morgen. I know it's confusing. We're in Italy, but they speak German in this part of Italy. We're in San Valentino alla Muta in Italy. We're in Europe. In Italy. Look at it. It's summer, which is weird because where we're from, it's winter. Yes. It's almost like there's two hemispheres. It's almost like and we're the, on the opposite side of the world the whole and world it's snowy went. up there, but sunny here. We thought we'd come at you from this little field of flowers with a little Mighty Car Mods update because there's lots of news. There's lots to update you on. The first of which is we're currently making a film in Europe. That's right. That's why we find ourselves in the hills of Italy where they speak German. Yes. Um, because there's some absolutely stunning roads, some equally stunning people and stunning vehicles. We're actually near a trifecta of countries, which is Switzerland, Italy and Germany, and about a 12k hike up there, uh, which we will be attempting to do later on today. Um, the countries meet in a triangular fashion, and you could lie down and be in all three countries at the same time. Now, what we can assure you of is, although we are in Italy, where they speak German, um, and it's well known for supercars, you won't be seeing any supercars. No. Spoiler alert. Oh, is that a spoiler? I don't know. If they want to see some supercars, they could look at some crashed supercars by some vloggers on the internet. Exactly. But we're not going to do that. No, but the cars are super. They're just not officially supercars. Although we did see one, didn't we? We saw two Subarus. We've seen a Subaru Forester and a Subaru Justy. Yes. That's it. Everything else, Volkswagen, Audis, Euro. Beamers, it's all over the Euro place. It's just a Eurofest in Europe, funnily enough. But everybody, let's just kick it into the new... That sounds like the Unicorn Circuit, that but it's like not the Unicorn Circuit. Those other guys um, do. No, we're going to kick it into the update. So, uh, the Golf Series, um, that is done for now. If you haven't seen that video, click on the thing with the thing. Uh, we took it down to the drag strip, did some drag races. Uh, we've ended up with 11 2 quarter mile. That's fast. 2.9 seconds, That's 0 to 100 fast. in its full street trim of interior, street tyres, pump gas, very happy with it. And, I would, and just, um, I would just like to just reiterate that that is a car that you can drive to the shops and more importantly, you can put someone in that car who knows nothing about cars and they won't even know it's modified. That's true. Which is a big deal for something that goes that fast. But how much did it cost, Martin? That's what everybody's wanting to know and we thought that we would find out and um, I think the Revo people said, they say 7,000 euros? They said 7,000 pounds for all the parts and the tuning and the yep. all the stuff. Yeah, so and you have to find somebody to fit it for you, which is flashing. one to two days. So you can do the maths and the conversions in your place. 7,000 pounds is the number that we were yep. given from And the we people. talked in pounds because that's where Revo are from. Yes. So that's like the base thing. It changes depending what territory you're in. Martin, let's move it on to the Evo. Sure. Um, it got blown again. It so blew its pipe. You might have What's seen happening it, next? You might have seen it blow its intercooler pipe on the dyno and then again at the track. Um, the dyno and the track happened very close together, so I didn't actually have time to get the parts to fix it. There's a two-piece intercooler hose that looks a bit hose. Intercooler pipe that looks a little bit like this um, that's under the front of the car. And so that just kept separating because reasons. Um, and so I've now replaced that with just a one-piece just yes. to get the car working so I can actually drive it with the power level that it currently makes. So yes, thank you very much. So yes, more power is on the cards, but that you're going to have to wait for some upcoming videos. Martin, what people did see in that video was that it went hard until its pipe blew, it like great. its launch was, was really good. Yeah. And it's it's probably a 12 second car, which, you know, I know these days cars, are, the times are just tumbling, but um, yes. a, a 12 second car is pretty good for a street it's, car. That Evo is going to be a super gramps killer, which is going to be weird because you're going to have this kind of rift between the new you and the old you. I'm going to have two of my own cars that will be battling, but I can't drive them. That means you're going to have to drive one of them. Man, I'm shame. ready. I'm ready. In other absolutely groundbreaking, phasmatorically, astronomically epic news. That's good. Thank you, Martin. We are about to announce something very exciting, and by about to, I mean in the next five seconds, we have just released the Mighty Car Mods Toolbox. We're talking about a double stacking, all black, heavy duty Mighty Car Mods Toolbox by ToolPro, which is going to be available at Super Cheap Auto. Tell them the stats, son. So it's got like a bottom box and a top box. The bottom one's 27 inches wide, the top one's 26 inches wide, so you can stack them on top of each other. Both have decals, Mighty Carmel's logo, chop fingers, all done really nice in a cool matte, custom matte black. Yep. Um, this black is like, handles, black everything. This toolbox is, is specifically made um, to look exactly how we thought would look cool in the garage. Yes, uh, we've been so working got... on it for like 18 months and like going backwards and forwards, making sure the design's right, getting samples, going let's change this, let's change that. There was custom painted stuff until we were like, this is exactly how we want it and then off it went and now it exists. So you can put 20 kilos of tools in each drawer in the bottom cabinet, 
15 kilos of tools in the top drawer cabinets. Um, so you can pack all your stuff in there. It's got like caster wheels, roller bearing stuff in there. It's it's legit it's, it's mad toolbox. It's freaking epic toolbox, something that you can and keep for a lifetime. reasonably priced too. It is indeed. Now, we are going to put all the information down below for you to have a look at those. Uh, at the moment, they are available in Australia only, but you may be able to get a mate to pick one up and send it over, which is what a lot of our US friends have been doing, but there is information down in the description. You can get them in store. They are in limited numbers, but they're available Australia-wide and in New Zealand, from what I understand. The most relevant information will be down below, so make sure you check it out. Uh, now, of course, we've got a new project car. I'm gonna manage expectations right now. <laughs> it's not a Yaris. We, no. are, we are doing the Yaris, it's absolutely happening. It is. But before we do that, we've actually bought something else. What's really interesting about this is that we've bought the car completely sight unseen off the internet from Sydney. From And we did it while we were here. And it was the cheapest registered one. Of that. And I think it yes. was from Macquarie Fields. Was it? Yeah. So we got on the internet in Europe here and bought a car in Sydney off the internet and then sent one of our mates to pick it up. So yeah. it doesn't matter where we go, we are buying the cheapest nuggets that you can get. We're going to be working on that. That's something a little bit different We're going to be we doing haven't done before. Yeah, well, something we completely kind of different. Haven't, we haven't. And you might see some faces that you recognise on this one. Yeah. It's going to be a, just a, a fun all-in, whatever you call all-in things that are fun. It's going to be epic. Martin, in other news, um, we lost our drone. Um, which was great. We bought a brand new drone for this trip, yep. uh, which was the Mavic 2 Pro. I think all in with the Fly More kit and everything was about $3,000. Now on our second channel, MCM TV 2, we'll show you exactly what happened with that. You can click the thing with the thing. And if you watched, the last, if you watched the last episode, you might have seen a little compilation um, of, of, of drone crashes. crashes, which if you haven't, you can click a thing. Um, and it was, I think, five out of six were my crashes. Yes. So this is... Uh, Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good to kind of raise up the tally. Uh, last thing of the news, of course, Martin, is the Mighty Come On Shop. Let's lay it on. The people wanted it. The people are getting them. It. Here they are, people. We've got Mighty Come On's cable, cable ties. Size. They're available for you right now. They come in a packet of 50. And they say Mighty Car Mods on them. Um, and these are like $12 Australian, which is about $2 US. Um, <laughs> or thereabouts. You'll have to do your own conversion. Not exactly, but there it is. You can now get them. They've got Mighty Car Mods on them, so you can strap all your bits together. That is the update. Um, there is going to be lots of cool stuff coming out. Um, Martin, I'd like to finish with a poll. A poll? A poll. Good. Yeah. YouTube has a poll function. Click the thing. Now, Martin, there's been a little bit of conversation recently about vehicles with two wheels. So my question for you is, would anyone be upset if on this channel we modified a motorcycle or it's called Mighty Car Mods, it must be cars. There's a poll up there now. One of them is yes, show me awesome things. The other is no, I want you to do what I want, which is not what you want. <laughs> which we is will check back on that poll. A Civic. But we've done a Civic. Dude, there's, there's room in our, in our hearts and minds for another Civic one day. Of course we're, no, we said we're doing the Civic in the Oh, the later thing. Yeah, thing. yeah, got it. Anyway, so we're doing it. Anyway, there it is, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed this update. Um, Martin, take my hand, the, the other hand, because the hills are alive with the sound of what? Ow! You landed in a shit, dude. You're actually. There's a shit on your left leg. I landed in a, a shit. massive shit. I landed in a shit.